What's up my brothers and my sisters from another mister. So today we're going to do a comic book review of Spawn issue number 8 brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. We begin this issue with Billy Kincaid in the Sack of Syrup after his death from issue number 5. So this kind of time jump from issue number 5 to right now and we go from Billy Kincaid the child murderer to Billy Kincaid Hale's play toy. And he noticed he's dead, but he also noticed that in this sack of syrup, he's not breathing. And you got a love on the ground that says, in heaven, everything is fine. Let's you know where he's actually at. So he asked himself, what kind of afterlife is this? He's stuck in sticky goo and he's buck naked. So he notices this four-eyed lizard thing and kills it and takes its skin for clothing. Now he reassures himself like, yeah, it's kind of nice knowing that even though you're still dead, he can still kill people or kill things so he gets introduced by Kimberly and she has his eating disorder and she introduces Billy to Larry, Claudette, Bob and little Jessica who introduced himself and he gets all creepy like my name is Chili, Mr. Chili, real name's Bill, Billy Kincaid because he's a child murderer, he's offbeat, he's deranged, he's just crazy man and even right now he's still crazy with little Jessica. So they're inside the orchid but outside the orchid there's nothing but wilderness and they invite Billy Kincaid to follow them and go on the trail. So they explain to him what goes on here. It's kind of weird. They're like in 10 deadlands, spheres. So there's 10 spheres inside hell. And right now they're at the lowest sphere, the reception area, if you will. If you want to go higher, you have to climb to the tower. And then Claudette's like, oh, Lord, look at everybody. He's come for me. And this ray of light, I imagine she's thinking is God picking her up because she says, I went in for my gallbladder operation and I woke up in that orchard. But now I knew he would come for me. Well, is it really God? that came for her no in this panel right here it's actually the soul trapper from the sixth fear that's what little jessica tells him they keep souls like her as pets as she's singing away from the sentient droid demon whatever I, I don't even know how to describe what that looks like so little jessica continues to tell billy king kate and us as a reader that this year it's singers last year it's acrobats that the soul trappers are taking so as they lay down to go to sleep billy king kate goes into his monologue i think about the kid as we camp down for the night so she's a little autistic whatever disturbed that's natural but being dead is kind of a disturbing thing but dying's worse. I dream about all night long the sound of chains, cloak, flapping and spikes and choking me. I never want to see that thing again. He's talking about Spawn when Spawn put him through that torturous pain endurement in issue number five because if you checked out that issue, Spawn had his reasons for doing it. Come on, it's Billy Kincaid we're talking about. So as they're walking around through the orchard, it's been three hours and this ray of light disintegrates Larry. So little Jessica tells Billy Kincaid that was the prime monad from the highest fear the 10th he handpicked souls to use as secretary in his macro computer kind of a twisted sense of humor i guess you would say but then again they keep rolling around and then they see elvis bob is an elvis fan but this is not no typical looking elvis the king humma 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 you know this is elvis looking like with he don't look right let's just say but so he takes bob in his tentacles and little Jessica tells him there's nothing you could do for that. That is a meta abuse from the fifth spear. They get an addictive drug rush from souls of people like Bob. So we get a twisted world of what kind of place this is. So Billy continues to tell him, so this is great. Three of us left, the kids a cycle, and I'm getting Kimberly. But when she goes up to this crystal, well, this rock that she considers her pet or whatever swallows her whole and stands up and just takes her away so the kid tells billy it's a soul gourmet from the third sphere so pretty soon after all this it gets dark and just all of a sudden how does it get around there well billy kincaid tells her the kid finds him a place to sleep and as they sleep and dream a flight of bats surrounds his bro his cloak seethes like boiling blood he's talking about spawn he's dreaming about spawn ending his life again and that torturous pain and and how he died and he can't stand it so he wakes up in a cold sweat and he knows what's got to be done the kid's sleeping by the campfire and it's the only way to get it out of his system and to stop the dreams and he looks at the kid sweet angelic and sleep she's not gonna know a thing about him ending her life right and as he puts her hand around her throat she opens her eyes in this sinister smile and it's just creepy well it's about time I wonder how long it'll be before you croak the little know-it-all bitch glad to see that you still got what it takes chili 
And that's a reference to what, Sp what King K told her earlier in the panel. And he morphs into this <laughs> ugly looking thing. Great disguise, huh? I mean, flimsy, but cute as hell. I'm the Vindicated, one of the five famous Flibiac brothers. I guess you probably heard of us, huh? Well, yes, we have because you look very relative to the, to the, <laughs> to the Violator. And he is a relative to the Violator. Sorry about entrapping you like that, says the Vindicator. I just had to make sure you was the kind of guy we wanted up in the eighth sphere. And Billy Kincaid's like, nah, uh fuck that shit. I gotta get up out of here. Hey, where you going? Trust me, you'll like the Ace Fear. Everybody does. That stuff ain't what it, what it all cracked out to be. Everyone's saying it's a reeking, sulfurous torture furnace was just rumors spread by the business rivals, and I believe that was spread by the Second Sphere. And Billy Kincaid's like, nah, man, I gotta get out of here. The kid that thinks that the only way was up is through that tower. And he feels he still has a chance. But he goes up, but because Billy Kincaid, to say it nicely, because I'm that way too, is a little out of shape. Boy, these stairs, huh, said the Vindicator, just mess with them. Are they murder or what? I'll tell them to put an elevator, the one with the glass. I mean, it might be nice for you to ride the elevator, right? Hey, they gotta make things more difficult around her, huh? And Billy Kincaid's like, man, I cannot go any further. This is stupid. Hey, no problemo, says the Vindicator. I was just gonna carry you if you had to run off like that. You gotta think yourself lucky you've been harvested by the eighth sphere. I mean, a dead guy like you, what are your options? So he goes on to explain what the different levels of the sphere are. Level two, it's pretty much ice and chili. Level three, well, if you wanna get filleted and serve with the light pastry, that's where you go. Level four, you'll be fuel rod, but then they see him as special because he's a child murderer and they appreciate that in the guy. And I see in action, Mr. Chile, I gotta say you're too good for that. So we get to know what five, six, seven, and eight are. And eight is a place that they call home. It's the Malbos, and the Vindicator calls it home. So that's where they wanna take Billy King K to the Ace Fear. So he continues to tell him as it happens, the Malboja himself is looking for souls to join his army. Souls like you, Billy. And Billy's like, man, this place is kind of hot and it's burning my feet. Oh, that won't bother you once you're fitted into your slaves where all the Mount Boja conquests were. Here, I'll whistle a ride up for you. Phew, weep. I can't even whistle. So Billy Kincaid's symbiote comes out. The Vindicator tells her, let me introduce you to K3 Myarlu. She's a constantly involving neutral parasite and I think she likes it. And this freaks Billy Kincaid because this looks too much like Spawn. No, not that. I don't want it. Oh, come on now. I know you what you're thinking. You just got to give it a chance, boy. Believe me, I have a feeling that you guys are gonna get along very nicely. He runs and he screams. And Vindicator, as this symbiote is bonding to Billy Kincaid, oh, look at you two bonding. I tell you, when a guy like her finds someone like you, things happen, real special things. And there's two things. First, this is for life. And two, the second, it bonds with your central nervous system. Ooh, look at that bond, look at that. And Billy Kincaid just looks like overweight spawn at this point. And he is shocked to see what he says. So Vindicator opens up this doorway for him and tells him, so anyway, now that you're all dressed up, go meet your new employer. Look, the gates are opening for you. And Billy Kincaid is not liking this at all. But this isn't fair. The afterlife shouldn't be this way full of alien monsters processing humans as if they were cattle and nobody caring about good or evil good evil give me a break says the vindicator like we could carry less if you covet your neighbor's ox or whatever and that is biblical that is in uh, exodus i believe exodus chapter 20 or whatnot i mean we're running a business here says the vindicator and i'm telling you for nothing the two words carved on marble in hell's lobby ain't good or evil boy it's two other words and what they say is and malboja laughs <laughs> <laughs> Kaka happens, little buddy. Kaka happens. And that's where we end this issue of Spawn, issue number eight. What'd you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also link in description if you wish to add any of the comic books in your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. We do got some really cool rated comics exclusives as well. And lastly, if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Like the video and subscribe to this channel. Here rated comics to do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.